Hello everyone. What a great day this is. What a great day. Look at this box here. Yes! I've been waiting for this for so long. So this here, this here, straight from the UK Gibson distributor, my first ever experience with the, I don't know, worldwide hyped 2019 Gibson series guitar. This is, this is a very special one though. This is uh, the top of the line of the ES series, which is my ultimate favorite. I really like 335s, 345s. I had many, many of them from, I don't know, from the last five years. I always bought, I, I bought one from 2014 for 16, 17. I went through all the ranges. I really like the 335s and I really like the 345s. And never ever had a 355 before, right? This is the first time, and I was so bloody excited when uh, on Winter Nam I saw a little video uh, where the new Gibson SEO, uh, SEO guy uh, was talking about uh, the ES355, and I was oh, ES355, they are coming out with an ES355, never had any. Maybe that's the one that I should try because I was not the person sure I'm gonna buy a 2019 Gibson because why not? I, I really like these guitars, so let's try them. And when he said there will be a new uh, 2019 ES355 guitar, I, I immediately know that's one of the main applicants that I'm gonna buy from the range. And I saw a little video by, when someone is playing on it on the NAM show and it looked bloody amazing. It was natural, which is, I think, one of the best colors when it comes to 335s. Because everybody buys the red ones, everybody loves the red ones, the antique cherry red and things like that, that's very classic. And the sunburst one is classic, but for me, for my personal taste, I really like the natural one. So, and one more very important thing, uh, they, the came out with this version without a bloody Bixby on it, which is amazing because that was the reason why I previously didn't never bought a, uh, a 355 because most of them what I saw in shops, they had that uh, Bixby on it, what looks great, sounds great, but it's absolutely useless uh, in life situations. I, I, I tried it on a Gretsch guitar and oh, it went out all the, of tune all the time. So this time, they came out with a 355 in natural color and no tremolo on it, just a fucking amazing Gibson stop, uh, stop therapy. So here you go, proper unboxing video. I never recorded any unboxing video, but it's not a rocket science. So okay. it arrived in a box. It's absolutely sealed. I didn't take the tape off or anything. And I can promise you guys, I'm really 100% sure, I can promise you, I won't hide any of my feelings. So if I open this box and I'm disappointed with the guitar, then you will see it. I won't start bollocking or bullshitting or anything. This is my that honest feeling about the guitar as the first impression, you know? And uh, yeah, I'm very ex excited. Let's, let's open the box. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. <laughs> and the moment of the truth. Come on. This needs to be good. This needs to be good. I mean, the new. Gibson CEO and this new 2009 series are hyped so much. I mean, every bloody news channel, every bloody uh, guitar instrument uh, stores, YouTube channel, they are just talking about how much better these guitars are than the previous ones and quality control. They stepped up with quality control and things like that. Now, here you go. Let's see if, it's that, if that's true or not. I hope, I hope, I don't want to be disappointed. 
just want to see a beautiful semi hollow guitar here. How should I do this? Should I open it here? So I want you to see it as well as I open it. Just smell it first. First impression guys, first impression is this is very light, what I really like. I mean, I never care too much about the weight of the guitar, but the first impression is very important. And this is a nice and light, huge 355, so this is the top of the ES line, and it's nice and light. Ooh, and this smell, I mean, most of the time Gibson sells says the guitars are just with the smell I think. This smells fantastic. And another thing what I really like for the first side is the thickness of the flames. Ooh I like these big chunky flames on it. First thumb. Guys, you know, I'm not joking, but this guitar is almost in tune already. I mean, I don't know when did it when did it leave the Memphis factory, but it's. Yeah, it has the it has the factory setup on it. I can see it on the stop tail piece. So I like to put the stop tail piece down to the body and uh, lower the action a bit. Yeah, it needs just a micro tightening on the on the thrust rod, but that's uh, hey, that's nothing. Oh, you want to smell? Look at the back of the guitar. I like this natural, vintage, natural color. So this is the 355 model, which, uh, which makes it quite interesting because what you don't get on the 345 and the 335 guitars are the, the th they call it uh, terminally engineered uh, bracings. So the spruce other on uh, Adirondack spruce bracing terminally engineered, all of them. Uh, I think the center block as well, so make it nice, light, and resonant. Uh, yes, 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 yes. This is one of the most important, what are really, really big. So these are proper, proper mother of pearl inlays, not a celluloid. Did you know that if you buy a bloody R9, I don't know that there's an R9, but if you buy an R9 for almost five grand now, the latest series, you get bloody plastic celluloid uh, inlays instead of real mother of pearl. But this guitar, the 355, has proper mother of pearl. Yeah, it, it, it looks completely different. Than the, not completely, but you, you can tell the difference. Even from this distance, there's, there's an R9 in the corner and. You can see this is a this is the real mother of pearl ones. That is beautiful as well. Oh, I like that. I like that. And see, this is the thing. I saw many pictures on this about this guitar on the internet. I, I was reading about it and checking their website almost every week because I was so excited. I wanted to order one of these. But the, I think, even with those fancy factory pictures, I think. In real life, this guitar looks better than on pictures. I like these massive, chunky flames. Oh, mamma mia, what a beauty. Yeah, it has this big, uh, how do you call it, uh, scratch plate, yeah. Obviously, this is just a... Oh, guys, this 
looks great. This looks great. Mm, smells good. Looks good. Very light. And now you're gonna hear newborn baby. Tune it up before before playing anything on it. Tune it up. Definitely bone nut. It sounds stupid, but I can hear if it's plastic or tusk or, or bone. The, the acoustic quality is much more much more resonant. Uh, not, not resonant, that's the right word, sorry. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, it has an interesting, more natural character if it's bone nut. So, that's here. By the way, for 2019, these are new pickups as well, called MHS, MHS2 pickups. Uh, what is, I don't know what's the improvement, but the 2018 model, uh, I, had, I had one here, a, a nice red figured one, 2018 model, and there I was ultra happy with the pickups. I was ultra happy with the brass saddles, probably you watched my previous video where, or some of my previous videos where I played on that guitar, sounded fantastic, so I was very happy with the pickups. So if they improved it even more, that these pickups gonna sound great, so let's hear it. <laughs>
How do you like it? I think I can play on it all day long. <laughs> issues or any quality control problems let's check it out i tell you what if i find anything i let you know and i show it they said they stepped up with quality control let's find out if there's any any finish problems or anything this is beautifully done i mean i mean check check out the triple binding on the headstock it's wonderful. Now neck is beautifully done. Fretboard that is neck joint is wonderful. I mean sorry for being nasty but on the previous guitar that I had on the 2018 model what I really liked, and I bought it. I, I went into the shop and then I tested how many guitars, and uh, I saw those little, little, little nuances, little, little finish issues. There was a problem with the binding, and there was a, a finish issue here. But it didn't bother me because the guitar sounded fantastic, played really well, and I kept it and I played on it, and I was very happy with it. However, however, see anything on it at the moment. I mean I mean this is absolute fucking spotless. Sorry for the good words guys but this is this is my first experience with the 2019 Gibson and I have to tell you and I'm really happy to tell you that there's not one thing. This is absolutely bloody spotless. What I really like. I let's scratchy pots. There was a last pot what I bought about. I think it was a 2012 R9, which was a bloody expensive guitar, and the, the pots were scratchy when they arrived. Nice tape, nice taper on it. I like this one when they use proper capacitors and proper filters, so uh, the tone pot is very, very sophisticated. So you can turn the bridge pickup something like a neck pickup but just a tiny bit more edge on it, have a listen. So this is absolutely wide open. Can you hear it? 
it still ha it still has that trouble pickup edge, but it. It's warmer. It's on number three now. This tone pod. Ooh, I think the table is really well on it. Sounds great. Let's do the same on the volume. Great, great, I like it. Ooh, guys, 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 this is this is nice. This is nice job. models they had a bony on it which, are, which was great obviously but this is a very nice piece of dark rosewood which is I think as good as a bony I don't have any issues with it I mean nuanced differences but I have no issue with this this looks great nice and grainy but dark and, uh, and uh, this beautiful mother of pearl is Look, look great on it. I tell you what, I set up the neck just, or just a bit and I try it then.
lot of beauty. Tell me how do you like it? It's nice and light. Looks wonderful. I like this finish so much. This vintage natural looks great. Great with this nice dark mahogany neck. Mother of pearl inlays. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Gibson. And I, that's what I fucking like because I was bullying them a bit on my previous uh, video for the 2018 model, which had some issues. But I still love the guitar and I used it and I was very happy with it. But I think in terms of quality, in terms of finish and things like that, this looks like a step, step up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yes, how do you like it? So far, I can play on, play on this guitar all day, all night. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. Still, I I wanna push this down a bit and make the action just a tad lower, and it will be spot on guitar. But it sounds great. Also, a bit of uh, balancing needed on the pickups because I think the neck, neck pickup is a pushing a bit more gain out, so that needs to go down a bit, and this one needs to go up just a bit. And uh, yes. Yes, I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, I think I've got one more test for you, what I usually do on, on guitars, especially when they say they burned a lot on the pickups and things like that, so very good test for the pickups is, so this is bridge pickup and wanna hear how warm the bridge pickup, you know? This sounds wonderful. I mean, seriously, this is a fantastic sounding bridge pickup. So when it, when it, it has almost as much warmth as as the bridge. I had to I had to look at the, look down and and check if the if the switch is on the bottom position because I thought it's the neck pickup. It, it's very nice and warm. So the neck pickup should have a lot of present. I mean, in the ideal world, it has some extra presence, but you can't express. So if it's a really good neck pickup, it's it's nice and warm, obviously, as all the neck pickups. But it, if it has some extra edge, like extra presence. as with the bridge pickup, but it's nice. It needs a bit more trouble, so I might move out that screw a little, so make the treble side of the pickup a bit more sensitive. Gibson, this is spotless guitar. I mean, seriously, it was well worth the money. It's yeah, it's way above. It's, it's about three and a half gram, but it's I, I I couldn't find anything that I don't like in this guitar, and it will become better and better every year as I as I'm gonna play it in and live with it because I don't wanna sell this guitar, so I didn't buy it for resale or anything. I, Put it for myself because at the moment I don't have any semi hollow guitars and my original project, by the way, it's called Blues Collusion, will come out a fantastic album to in this year and I think I'm gonna record it with this uh, this guitar now. I'm I'm hundred percent sure in it. Because that, that music that is or new original blues music and it, it just this this sort of guitar need needed for that music. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Congratulations, Gibson. So, what I'm gonna do now, I let the cat in because he's desperate to come in, maybe you can hear. And then I bring a bit of whiskey and drink it for Gibson, just because this is a fucking amazing guitar, guys. So bear with me. Old Taliscar because I don't drink and eat shit. 
if you drink whiskey, buy this sort of stuff. Single mode scotch. That's for the kings. I mean, Talisca is wonderful. So, so. Congratulations, Gibson. 2019, yes, 355. Spot on guitar. Mm. While I'm drinking this, let's, let, let's check it out. The, let's check out the case, Candy. What do I have here? Ooh. Case Candy. Let's see what do I have here. Certificate. Final pack checklist. Gibson certificate of authenticity. Jonathan Jonathan Blocker, general manager, Gibson Memphis, Tennessee. I mean unfortunately I can't read who signed these these blocks on the sheet. But then Mr. Jonathan Blocker at Gibson Memphis, congratulations guys, seriously, I bloody love you, I love all the work, what you do, and this guitar is just a fantastic example, also a fantastic example, yes, yes, I had with it, never used any of these, what else, uh, this little toolkit, that can be useful, electric Spanish, yeah, serious. What's this? Is it like a menu? I don't have to. <laughs> ah, that's an interesting, interesting information. MHS two humbucker. Ah, Nico five magnet. Ah, okay, okay. I can see it. I can see it. So here they explain it in the different. They explain the different pickup. So the MHS humbucker, about the two thousand eighteen uh, three thirty fives and the yes, serious guitars have. Uh, so in those guitars, the, the humbucker pickups got Alnico 3 and Alnico 2 magnets, while the MHS 2 humbucker, such as the one in this guitar, hello, do you want this? Do you want this? No. So MHS 2 humbucker got Alnico 5 magnets. Interesting, interesting. So the this normal MHS humbuckers, only co three magnets, no wax, no wax spotting, whatever, unmatched, unmatched coils, and no wax spotting, whatever it means. MHS two humbucker, so these ones, uh, poly coated wire, matched coils, and no wax spotting. What the heck does it mean? I have no idea, but sounds great. So, another interesting, that is great, I like this, I've never seen anything like this before. So Memphis Tone Circuit, this is the premier model, so it means that hand wire matched 550k potential meters and orange drop caps. Now this is what I was talking, do you remember when I was talking about how, how nicely it, it clears out and uh, and uh, the tone pot and uh, the volume pot both have this very nice taper on it, so it's very sophisticated. It draws out, uh, it doesn't draw too much high out, and it still it, and it's, uh, it stays musical. And with a, with a could it leave with a, uh, a pot which, when you start turning down, it turns the guitar to a different instrument. I mean, seriously, on, on unfortunately, on cheaper guitars, they don't care about this sort of thing. So when you start turning the volume down, it loses the trouble and it starts running like this. It's like it's like another instrument, or like a usually a very useless instrument. But this one is this one was very musical over the whole whole cycle, whole, whole, uh, as I moved it, which is which is amazing. I like that. Yeah, so that's the premier hand wire matched 550k potentiometers. I like that. Sand block. Uh, yeah. So. There are different options, but this one has weight, weight relief maple and big maple in the same time. So that's that. That's how they call it terminal engineer, like that, yeah. And the bracing is 
big quarters on Adirondack spruce. So it, it shows that I think the lower range models of the like the steel zero lines got I got like spruce and maple but not white relief. There's no premier, there's no MHS humbuckers as you go down on the on the range. Nice, nice, I like it. That's that's a great explanation by the way. I was always wondering why does this guitar cost about a thousand pounds more than than like the studio version of a 335. Yeah, proper leather, Gibson strap, I like it. Guys, at Gibson, congratulations. Hope you like this very fucking long unboxing video, but I love the guitar so much, so I had to play on it. And a few more guitar, I'm 100% sure a few more reviews coming. Uh, I just wanted to show you this, so. This is how much I like uh, natural looking guitars. Or I like I like this color so much. Look, this is a nice PRS. That's a nice custom shop strut and the new arrival. Fucking hell, Gibson, you did a great job. I'm so happy. Fender PRS Gibson. And even the cat has the same color. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe. Probably this is why I buy this, the guitars in this color because look, even my, my cat, like my cat, has this color. And then since then, the PRS, the Gibson, and even this beautiful custom shop strut has this honeybird style color. Hope you like it guys, bye bye.